Hi, Sag. Welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. Oh, that popped right out. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Sag, and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. And um, what was I going to say? Oh, you can just subscribe on my website and that way you'll get a notification when they open back up. Oh, that was so weird. I thought that was good. I thought it was a different card. I don't know why I thought that. Um, oh, so thank you guys for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all your support for everything. I hope you guys had an amazing holidays, Christmas, New Year's. I know I didn't post anything, but honestly, I just wanted to give people a break. Like, I'm sure people had things to do with their families. I don't really celebrate um, Christmas and New Year's. So I'm a little bit weird in that way. I don't really believe in them, but that's why I was kind of MIA. I wanted to give people time away from tarot, at least on my channel, <laughs> to let people just like detox a little bit and calm down. So hopefully you guys had a good holiday season and let's dive in. So first card we have out is the healer. Okay, this is interesting. There, I was getting a little bit more excited about the mirror card because this is what I think could be happening. Something could come in to kind of show you some type of part of yourself that maybe you want to work on a little bit more. It feels a little bit more positive though. You guys might come across some type of a healer and if you've been feeling a little bit kind of like, because the moon can be illusions or something that's been kind of hidden from your sight for a while, and I feel like it's because you had your attention caught somewhere else, so you kind of got lost maybe from your path, Sag, or like you've kind of lost um, maybe a little bit of passion or things like that. Probably because you are going through a deep healing process within yourself, but there is, there's something about snakes or shedding a layer, blah, 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 you know, the good old whole thing. But the mirror card is what's interesting to me. I do, f this is what I think is happening, Sag. You might have a person also around you that's kind of mirroring who you are. So... Let's say, for instance, because mirror, I mean, we all do that to some extent. We all have mirror neurons, right? I talk about these constantly on the channel. But you could have someone that kind of like sees you as a healing type of a person. And so they're, they might be trying to come in to maybe get closer to you or connect with you. And they might be kind of like mimicking that in a way. Like, I don't know. If, we'll see. Let's see. Let's see what comes out here, because I'm already kind of picking up on something. So let's see what comes out in the cards. Not quite yet. Ah, death. Well, that's kind of perfect because, right? What did I say with the snakes? Shedding a layer, death card. You might be going through quite a transformation process. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio, some here in the mix. But I feel like there's this slow process that you're having to go through as far as like shedding these layers. You guys might be going through kind of like even emotional processes where you kind of think, oh, I'm done and I'm over in this. I'm fine. I'm ready to go. And then it's kind of like some waves of emotions come up, which I wouldn't normally peg as being Sagittarius. But maybe this is just kind of what you guys are going through is like another wave of your transformation. It's just helping you to get more illumination and get to the depths of something. But it's something different. Like to me, a healing process, people think it's just about like, um you know, like just crying something out and eating a lot of cr ice cream and chocolate. Um, I totally disagree. I actually think those cause more imbalances because if we're talking about your transformation and especially with the death card, there could be something tied to like your gut. And say, if you guys have this because you're the healer, 
if you're trying to restore some balance back into your gut, you know, restore the flora, whatever bacteria of your gut imbalances that might have happened over the past however many years that you've been alive on this planet, then you, that is a process where you have to bring it back into balance. Like it can take quite a while because there's this crazy process that happens that as you cleanse the cells, this is why I do so many crazy things with my diet and water fasting because I do it in waves. Like I haven't, if you guys have seen on my channel, I did my 33 day water fast um, forever ago. It was like, yeah, it was almost two years ago and I've done more. Okay, these have come in waves because I've seen how like changing your internal body will shift the outside reality, you know, holographically. And then you'll have like things from your subconscious come up to the surface. So it's kind of like there's reenactments, reenactments of like things from your childhood that will play out in the present. And then you're having to kind of like alchemize those situations as you go along. It's like this really interesting path. Why am I going on about this? So six of pentacles is the first card out. We have over top the ten of pentacles. Okay. That was like Cap's favorite card in their reading. I was like, holy freaking crap. So definitely something here about maybe an offer or some type of generosity that might come in and be exchanged. We have the Knight of Wands next. There's your fire energy. Past position, we have the Ace of Wands. This is good. I feel like this is some newer energy. Nice. We have the Two of Wands. Wow, fire is surrounding all the pentacles in your read. In the challenge position, we have the tower card. Okay, now we're talking. Strength is the queen of swords. In your mind, what you thinking about? The sun, yeah, love that. Okay, I do feel like something positive is gonna come in this week. You'll probably see it fairly quickly and your final outcome, yeah, sad. You're a freaking good lineup of cards. This is really good. So this tower feels quite positive. However it comes in, it's shifting you in a very positive way. So I feel like there's something here that you took action on, right? Because we have actually quite a lot of action cards right here. So I don't know what this is. This could have been something new that you started up. Maybe a new hobby, maybe me a new passion. And I don't know if it's the near past or the distant past. There's just something that you started up before that you that does fire you up. It makes you feel really freaking good. And there could be kind of like, it might have gone away for a time, especially over this past year. Like maybe you didn't have access to it or it wasn't at the level that you could truly access it and get to the level of growth. And it's because something was still growing. Okay, and I feel like over the past year, yeah, you've been going through this level of healing, maybe even going through like just patience, surrendering to your process, blah, 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 blah. Because yeah, vibrationally, that's what has to happen when, especially when we go through societal trauma. So here's the deal, okay. Something's coming in and I feel like it's because there's some type of, this Ten of Pentacles could be a lot of things because Ten of Pentacles, it could be maybe your family situation. It could be money that you've been saving. It could be something about like incoming abundance that's helping you to kind of like get into some, some type of situation that's very balanced for you. Like it's really good. And I feel like this Knight of Wands is really good. It's kind of about you're going to jump on it. There's an opportunity that will come in that's going to kind of help you finish out a healing process or to transform at the level that you're wanting to transform. And so two of wands here, it's kind of like, I feel like there's this interesting thing that will happen because something here is going to come in. Maybe it's an offer or there's some type of relationship that you're dealing with or it's very balanced between the two of you. Like there's a lot of mutual respect. There's a lot of like respect of boundaries. It's a very even give and take between the two of you, whoever this is. I really love this. Two of Wands 
it's saying here that you're ready to release something. This, it's something here that no longer really serves you and you're kind of looking out into the distance and it might take a little bit of courage for you to jump into this, okay? Because here in your challenge position is the tower. And I feel like that's what's been kind of happening is kind of like you, there's, there could be little like tower moments that you keep coming up to. And it's because like, um, Maybe it's connected to whatever stability that you're trying to maintain for yourself, maybe through career finances or home life, whatever that is for you. There's something kind of out of balance there or just something that kind of needs to shift because I can see that with the two of wands. That can be travel or planning ahead. Or, and so there could be certain things where you're like, okay, I'm aware that this needs to change and that, you know, like my situation is pretty much lining up for me to be able to move forward or just expand into the next level of myself. And so these tower moments are kind of like coming in and pushing you to commit to something because, and it could be something maybe like I was talking about at the beginning, healing your body or something like that. Queen of Swords, your strength here is that you have a lot of truth or whatever like knowledge that you understand um, you have this ability to like be very disciplined in some aspect. It's kind of like when you put your mind to it, you can accomplish it type of a thing, but you kind of have to, it has to almost logically make sense to you in a particular way. It's almost like information has to be coming into you very specifically, even from a particular person. Because if you hear it, like say for instance, your parent came in and said, hey, do this. And there's so much shadow energy there that you might not listen to them. So you might be one of those people that you have to either go learn it from yourself or someone else might come in and tell you like the same exact thing and you're willing to listen. I don't know why that came out. That just came out very randomly there. But that's why I love the sun and the nine of pentacles. It feels like something you're reaching some level of positivity this week. Like probably because of maybe saying no to yourself or saying no to others or just putting up some firm boundaries as well. It's going to help you accomplish some type of goal that brings you some level of independence here. It makes you feel really freaking good about yourself. This is so good. Okay. Let's dive in here. Let's dive in with the Little Prince Tarot. Okay. So that was the first card that popped out. We could have a Leo somewhere in the mix here. I don't know if that's the person maybe that you're dealing with. You also might be dealing with some type of a healer, okay? Maybe going to someone for advice. So, this is cool. This Ace of Wands, there's something here that you did in the past that, yeah, it did... It does bring you like a lot of strength maybe physically that could be for, I mean this right there could be some type of a hobby or a passion or just something that you do that just it makes you feel really strong and that's where I feel like a lot of your transformation is coming from is it's like preparing you um, maybe if you've been feeling a little bit small or weak there's something here that about showing up for yourself and being consistent with yourself that's going to help this thing come in, okay? Because I feel like you're kind of like calling it forth at the same time to you're bringing this thing back a little bit. Does that make sense? God, I hope it does. So we have the star card next. So this this is some type of a dream or wish fulfillment. I don't know this and what this feels like too yes this thing is going to heal you but at the same time I feel like it's also going to be kind of the path to fulfilling a wish and a dream for yourself something that you've been working for for a long time it's kind of going to turn the lights back on if you've been feeling a little bit in the dark or like things have felt a little like you've been more in shadow energy and just feeling like it's hard to see your way out there's something that will kind of bring the light back in and it will be enough for you to grasp onto to help you manifest it, okay? To help you manifest more of this thing into your life. So whatever you can do to conjure up feelings and emotions around creativity and passion, that's your, that's your, like, pretty much your path out the door here, okay? 
Knight of Wands is clarified with, ah, there's that Queen of Swords. Okay. Knight of Wands. So I feel as though this connection right here, this is Ace of Cups and the Queen of Swords. I do feel like there's a possibility that someone that is very famous that you have some type of a hot and cold love-hate relationship with might try to jump in again, okay? Whoever that is, that could be a family friend, lover, whoever it is. It's a trauma bond relationship. So prepare yourself because I feel like that person isn't quite done. But there's that Queen of Swords that's coming in that's kind of talking about like, actually, I feel like this person is kind of like researching because I almost feel like they're trying to come in at the same level as you. I don't know. I don't like it. It's kind of like someone's trying, and that could be the mirror card. Someone's trying to come in and maybe like appeal to a certain side of you to be closer to you. Okay. Cause this could be like, if it's a Knight of Wands person, it could be someone that feels like they're not quite on your level and they're trying to still find some way to be in your life. So they might come in and offer like, it's almost like they've done some type of research on how to bring in this love or these emotions here. So that is randomly hilarious. Okay. This two of wands. Oh, holy shiz. We have the two of pentacles and the two of wands clarifying the two of wands. Okay. So it's pretty much saying the same thing. I feel like there's just like a lot of choices that you'll have to be making when it comes to this shift that you might plan to make. If this is like travel, because we have the airplane there. So there could be, yeah, just some certain things that you have to balance and juggle between. I feel like it also could be connected to, like, you have to kind of keep healing yourself while juggling all these other things on the side, okay? Which might seem a bit overwhelming, but you'll be fine. You'll be able to handle it, okay? Clarifying the tower, we have the queen of pentacles. So there could be a connection to an earth sign here. Look at all the queens. Two Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles now. Clarifying the Queen of Swords, we have the Chariot. Could be a Cancer in the mix. And clarifying the Sun oh, is the Four of Cups. That's good, actually, because a Four of Cups can be some type of like disappointment or sadness. And that's why I love this, because I feel like there's something that's going to come in and help kind of lift you out of some type of disappointment or just some sadness or emotions um this tower yeah it feels like something came in like it could have disrupted your finances or some form of stability in your way there was just something that happened and it kind of like maybe shook you a little bit but i feel like the chariot especially i feel like you're just deciding to kind of let that be and kind of continue to move forward because I feel like at this point you kind of have to just like detach yourself in a way like if you need to whatever let the emotions come out sure and you'll probably feel that when it comes to the four of cups you might have the emotions kind of sneak up on you and you're like having to deal with them so do what you need to do obviously don't suppress your emotions or anything but also don't dwell in them find the balance i don't know why i'm saying all of this i don't usually get so preachy like this okay so <laughs> seven of pentacles is clarifying the nine of pentacles that's actually really cool um if you can see on this card i feel like this is more of kind of like nine of pentacles you'll be getting into something kind of by yourself there could be something that you're doing by yourself or like getting into and I kind of feel like once you get into this environment or this situation there's just going to be all these things that you have to take care of it seems positive I just feel like there's kind of just a lot of things that will slowly need to develop like say for instance I just want to give you guys an example say you get into like some type of because that could be entrepreneurship or business ownership there's just certain uh, like something that you jump into where I feel like you're gonna have to continue to work on what you're doing there's just things that you have to take care of responsibilities like and you're gonna have to keep doing it it's kind of like don't lose the momentum because 
there's a lot of like positive things that will come if you just if you get into a situation and you're doing it on your own just keep working at the day-to-day -day small tasks because it's going to grow into something even better okay i don't know why that's just what i wanted to say about that well i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there sag um there's not going to be an extended for this week but I just wanted to throw a reading out there for you guys, especially to start off 2021. And so, yeah, I'm sending you guys so much love for 2021. I will be here. We're going to kick this year's arse and transform not only ourselves, but our society. So hang in there. A lot of good things are to come. I know it. So um, hopefully you guys got something useful from this and I will see you in your next reading. Take care.